Is your iPhone restarting every three minutes with no clear reason? In this video, we've got a real iPhone 12 Pro with that exact issue, and it's throwing a panic report called PRSO. Now, usually PRSO points toward the charging strip, so that's where we're going to start. But this one turned out to be way more complicated than a simple part replacement. We'll go step by step in this video, from testing a new charging strip, checking diode values, tracing hidden lines on the board, and then refreshing the connection between board layers using heat and high quality flux. And yes, we'll explain everything you need to know about lines like I2C1AOP SCL that caused this error. Let's jump into it. Step one, identify the problem. PRSO panic report. We got this iPhone 12 Pro in the lab. The issue, every three minutes, boom, the phone restarts. That's a clear sign something deeper is wrong. So we pulled up the panic logs and right there at the top was panic report, PRSO. Now when you see PRSO, your first instinct should be to check the charging strip, DocFlex. That's what we'll do first. Step two, swap the charging strip, first test. We replaced the charging strip with a brand new part. Usually that fixes PRSO in many cases, but when we powered it on and waited, still restarting, still showing PRSO. So now we know, it's not the charging strip causing this. Step three, investigate the charging strip connector. Next, we moved on to the charging strip connector on the logic board. We took diode readings across the pins and that's when we found something strange. Pin 21 was showing a voltage drop that wasn't right. It was supposed to be around 0.314 volts, but it was off. Now pin 21 connects to the I2C1 AOP or SCL line. And that's a very important signal line in the iPhone's internal communication system. What is I2C1 AOP SCL? This line is part of the I2C communication bus. It's used by the always-on processor AOP to communicate with critical components like the charging IC, sensors and power management chips. If this line doesn't behave correctly, it can literally cause a kernel panic like what we're seeing here. So our suspicion? This line has either been damaged or isn't making solid contact. Step four, trace the line and spot the real problem. We traced pin 21's path in the schematics and saw it doesn't just stay on the top board, it actually travels down to the bottom layer of the sandwich board. Which means if the connection between the top and bottom boards is weak, that line can misbehave and that would cause this kind of restart problem. This made us pretty confident that we were dealing with a weak interlayer connection, not a broken line. Um, step five, refresh the board prints with flux and heat. So instead of separating the board, we took a safer route, applied high quality flux, heated the entire board evenly and thoroughly. This allowed the interlayer solder joints to refresh and reconnect properly without physical separation. After the board cooled down, we tested pin 21 again. Now it read exactly 0.31 full, just as expected. The line was back to normal. Step six, final test, the moment of truth. Now it was time to test everything. We connected the LCD, powered it on and waited. Three minutes passed, no restart. Test passed, no panic logs, no rebooting. This iPhone 12 Pro was finally stable, fully fixed and ready to return to the customer. If you're struggling with the PRSO panic error or three minute restart issue on iPhone 12 Pro, remember, it's not always a bad charging strip. Sometimes the problem goes deeper into the logic board and hidden communication lines like I2C1 AOP SCL. We'll be doing more in-depth logic board repairs like this in future videos, so don't forget to like this one and subscribe to Phone Rescue Experts. If you've got a panic log or repair story, Drop it in the comments and we'll check it out. We might even feature your case in a future video.